Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I want to go over some things concerning what will happen if Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, or AOC, and her partners in crime were able to pull this off to eliminate fossil fuels. Now, here's a moron named Daniel O-K-O-U-G-B-O founder of Ocean Energy, who says we can very easily do without fossil fuels. Let's go over this and see how this is going to work. I'm uh, using paint, so I don't have to make a bunch of different uh, pictures here. So just bear with me. So what is going to happen if this we did away with this. I'm only going to go over a few things. The first thing is, with no fossil fuels, you're not going to have any ships. There will be no merchant marine. Actually, I take that back. I'll show you uh, the kind of ship that will be bringing your goods. What's left of them. Uh, this will be your merchant marine if AOC and her partners in crime are able to pull this off. You see, every merchant ship in the world runs on fossil fuels. The reason we don't have these wooden sailboats anymore is that well we have we have sailboats but not for commercial use. The reason we have don't have them anymore for commercial use is that the wind was very unreliable. Plus these are rickety made of wood. They can't carry a lot of cargo and so on and so forth. But this is your merchant marine. If AOC and her uh, partners in crime were able to succeed, basically, you're not going to have any uh, ocean uh, ships going hardly at all, and you won't have any world commerce. Except over land, or will you have that? So let's look at the delivery by truck. There will be no delivery by truck. Uh, this goes without saying, these are all diesel uh, motors. Here in the States, we call them semis, bigger ones, semis, and over across the pond, they call them lorries. They run on diesel fuel. We just eliminated diesel fuel. Uh, sorry, you city folks. You're not going to have any more shipments of food into your uh, city. That's the truth. Oh, and while you're at it, you're not going to have these either. These are actually uh, Tonka toy trucks. This will be your trucking industry. From this point forward, if AOC and her partners in crime are allowed to get away with this. Da, these run on diesel too. Well, these toys don't, but real trucks do. And there'll be no construction con equipment. And how do you think that she intends to upgrade every building when you won't have any construction equipment? There'll be no cranes. There'll be no tractors. What, did I say that? And how's Farmer Johnson going to grow your food for you? He's not. Because another thing you won't have is fertilizers. Most fertilizers are made from oil. And more than likely, oil companies won't be able to survive if we eliminate the fossil fuel part of their business. 
So no trucking, no construction equipment either. No trucking, no construction equipment. So all that runs on fossil fuels. Diesel, basically. Oh, it's going to get much worse than that, however. What do you think we'll be using for fire engines? Mm, right here will be your uh, fire company. Because fire trucks run on diesel, too, like I said. The police will probably be running around in electric vehicles. Uh, it's a little bit tougher to do it with fire trucks because then uh, electric won't work because you need a much higher power density than you can get from electric. So that'll be your fire company. Oh, uh, have you thought about lawnmowing? This will be your lawnmower. Ooh, but artifacts, I have two acres to mow. I can't use that. Well, <laughs> you want to eliminate fossil fuels? That's what you're going to wind up with. Most people, they'd be lucky to wind up with something like that. And don't even talk to me about uh, things like weed whackers and things of that nature, because you won't have those either. Artifacts, you're crazy, they'll find flex fuels, blah, 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 blah. Flex fuels for what? How are you going to produce it? Remember, we have no fossil fuels. Uh, alcohol requires fuel in order to evaporate it. Oh, uh, as far as I know, I think methanol is produced from oil. Let's find out how eth methanol, not ethanol, was produced. Okay, you might have some methanol, but that means your old lawnmower won't be able to run on that. You'll have to uh, go out and buy a new one if you can get it. Because we have another problem, which I will detail in a minute. You see, uh, in order to build new lawnmowers, you're going to need to reforge metals. But without fossil fuels, you're not going to have a lot of options as far as uh, forging metals. Basically, commercial forging is done with coal or oil or whatever. It's not done a lot with wood. So you won't have the forges necessary to make the necessary parts for your lawnmower or whatever the gadget is. Because they run on fossil fuels and AOC and her par partners in crime want to eliminate that. Fortunately, you won't have to go around butt naked because synthetics generally aren't made from oil, so you're in luck there. However, we have another problem. You see, most uh, for chemical fertilizers, you know, open up a new window, most chemical fertilizers are made from oil. Synthetic fertilizers are man-made inorganic compounds usually derived by, from byproducts of the petroleum industry. So, uh, if Farmer Johnson grows your food, is it going to have those? And so, you're going to wind up with Farmer Johnson not being able to grow food for you. And it continues to get worse from here. Think you'll have electric vehicles? Well, I'll think again. For one thing, you're not going to have any tires because those are made out of what? They're made out of oil. That's right. So, you're not going to have those when seats are made out of oil. And you're not going to have any insulation for uh, your electric vehicles either. I mean, insulation for the electric because it's made out of oil. You don't have any insulation in your homes, which is going to make it a real 
pain in the neck because you're going to wind up with fires all the time because everything's going to short out. Or didn't uh, AOC tell you about this? No, she did not. <laughs> Oh, and now we're going to get down to the military. This is your Air Force, uh, if AOC has a way. Because the real Air Force doesn't use rubber bands. The real Air Force uses petroleum. Now, which do you think is going to be more effective in combat? this toy or or will this be more effective in combat well see AOC is so demented and twisted that she thinks that this will be more effective because she's sick in the head as are many of most of these Democrats well, it gets worse uh, from here uh, this is what we have on land for a howitzer gun. This is a real gun. There's a wiki on it. M119 howitzer. But you won't have those if they do a way with petroleum. Because I'm assuming the explosive part is made by petroleum. But in any event, the trucks that would haul them around aren't going to run because uh, they require diesel. And you won't have diesel if AOC and her partners in crime get their way. This is how you'll be hauling, away, hauling around uh, guns. I tried to find a stock photo of the Germans pulling ox carts during the Battle of Balls because uh, we ran them out of fuel during the Battle of Balls. And they were done. If you see that scene in the movie Patton, where he's talking about them pulling the axe cards, he says, This is how I know they're done. This is how you're going to haul around uh, guns. Because there'll be no diesel fuel to run the trucks to pull around guns, field guns, howitzers. But it gets worse. Of course, not even oxen, oxen are strong enough to pull around uh, solid propellant rockets. So, we're not going to have those on the battlefield. If AOC and her partners in crime get their way. When I say partners in crime, I'm using it metaphorically, but... Uh, you get you getting a picture yet? But it gets worse. Let's take a look at what the Air Force. I've shown you what the Air Force would look like. The Army. Uh, Marines are much like the Army, so we'll skip them. Let's take a look at what your Navy will look like. This will be your Navy. Actually, this is a very revered ship. It's still in symbolic commissions. The USS Constitution. In other words, old Ironsides. Got her name in the War of 1812, if I'm not mistaken, where the uh, cannonballs were reported to have been bouncing off her sides. Uh, well, we might have... I'm a little more modern than that, so let's take a look at... Some ships we might be able to come up with if we can figure out how to forge metal to do them. I mean, we'll take a look here. This will be your navy. Uh, this is a picture of, well, an artist rendering of the USS Monitor firing on Union fight with the CSS Virginia. Originally, uh, that was the uh, USS Merrimack, but the Confederates burned it to the ground, to the water line, and they clad it in iron and 
went on a rampage with it. They renamed it CSS Virginia. This is your uh, Navy at best. If AOC and her partners in crime get their way. Why? Why do I say this? Ooh, artifacts. We have nuclear-powered ships. Well, not so fast. Because even those rely have diesel generators on them that they need. In other words, they run drills and, you know, they'll shut everything down, scram the reactor, and diesel generator will kick on, you know, in case of power outage and whatnot. But we're not going to have that because these uh, same people want to do away with nuclear power. So this will be your Navy. If these FAOC and our partners in crime get their way. I'm running along, so I'm going to wrap this up. I haven't even touched the surface. You see, this is the same thing that the Russians did uh, with the Ukrainians. You see, this is your history. This is Russian history, but it's also your future if AOC and her partners in crime get their way. Stalin's forced famine, 1932 to 1933. Seven million dead. Joseph Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union, set in motion events designed to cause a famine in the Ukraine to destroy the people there seeking independence from its rule. As a result, an estimated 7 million persons perished in this farming area, known as breadbasket of Europe, with people deprived of the food they had grown with their own hands. I'm going to say that again. With people deprived of the food they had grown with their own hands. You think uh, AOC and her partners in crime wouldn't take uh, your garden away from you, better think again, better look around at uh, some of the laws that are being passed in California and other places. And then uh, my uh, Stalinist New York, Ukrainian independence movement actually gained predated the Stalin era, and it just goes on and on. That's what these people do. Um, of course, some of you might be able to live in caves down in, um, uh, if you know how to live out in the desert, down in some of the southern areas, stay in the cave when temperatures are 30, 40 degrees below zero outside. Of course, how are you going to, uh, preserve your food, I don't know. Uh, m maybe you'll be able to use your, uh, Solar panels to melt glass to make uh, containers from. That's until uh, the stormtroopers find you. But this is what you can expect from AOC and her partners in crime. Like I said, I'm going to wrap this. The Green New Deal isn't a new deal. It should be called the Green Death. Because that's what this is. This is the Green Death, not the Green New Deal. And if you think that woman is out to save you uh, from global warming, you've lost your ability to grip reality. I've shown you just a few of the things that will happen if she's allowed to get her way. You will be put back into... the uh, 1700s, 1800s. And if they want to take away your food, that's exactly what they'll do. And they'll cause you to starve, especially if you uh, oppose government policies. That's if they don't line you up against the wall and shoot you. <sighs> One more thing before I go. Don't worry. Some of you, you'll probably still have some metal tools, and you might be able to use those metal tools to uh, carve a few wooden tools. 
This is from uh, John R. C. Country Museum, which is not all that far from me. I've been there a few times. Enjoyed it. Uh, so I suggest, if you're a supporter of AOC, I suggest you get used to doing things by hand. A lot of things. Oh, and you may as well throw your cell phone out, too. Because you're not going to have those. They're made out of plastic, and if AOC gets her way and get, does away with uh, oil, you're not going to have those. Your cell phone's gone. You'll be carving uh, things out of wood and cutting everything by hand. I mean, with a handsaw, if you can get one. That's what these people want for you folks. There's no question. I haven't even touched... You know, I haven't even touched anything. I probably have you know, only gone over... What? 1% of the things that are going to go away. You'll be back in the 1800s, if not 1700s. Technologically. If AOC and her partners in crime are able to get away with this. You have to tell these people no. N O no. AOC and her partners in crime have to be stopped from implementing the Screen New Deal. Unless you, uh, unless the idea of starving to death appeals to you, unless the idea of looking like this appeals to you. Well, one thing I can say for AOC, she could very well solve obesity in this country. There are no fat people in uh, this place. There are no fat people here either. That's one problem she uh, legitimately will solve if AOC and her partners in crime are allowed to get away with this. Obesity will be a thing of the past. Well, except among the, the core elite, of course, will be uh, nice and fat and plump and happy while you're living like this. Sorry, folks, if truth hurts, it's too bad. I don't hold back. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve of this message. <laughs>